I'm gonna take you to some of my favorite places to eat and drink in Cabbage Town. This is one of the oldest areas in Toronto, but how exactly did Cabbage Town get its name? You might wonder why the name Cabbage Town came to be. The neighborhood got its nickname during the Great Depression. It was hit with extreme poverty, so some families dug up their front lawns in order to grow cabbages. This vegetable kept poor families from starving. There were so many lawns covered in cabbages that the whole area transformed into what we now know as Cabbage Town. If you have kids, the Riverdale Farm is a fun place to explore. It's winter season now, so the amount of farm animals may be lacking However, it's a rare warm January day and a few horses and cows were outside eating, so I got a glimpse. And a sniff. The smell though is uh, something. <coughs> Just across from the farm is a local favorite, Park Snacks. They serve up ice cream, hot dogs, burgers, and other great snacks. Unfortunately, they are closed during the winter season, so I wasn't able to indulge in some treats. Jet Fuel is a coffee shop with real flair. Coffee so strong, it'll get you moving as if you've ingested some fuel for yourself. All the coffee at this shop is espresso based, so it's got quite the kick, just what I needed. House on Parliament is a British style pub that's been serving the community for 25 years. The old Victorian house was transformed into a great local bar and restaurant that has delicious food and drinks. So I just placed an order for a their House on Parliament burger with a side order of spinach salad with goat cheese. But here's the twist. It's deep fried goat cheese and it just adds so much to the salad. It really packs a punch and it, I find it absolutely delicious. When you're thinking about eating or drinking in Cabbage Town, first thing that usually pops in your head is House on Parliament. It's been an institution in this area for years. Okay, here is the House on Parliament burger. It is quite hefty as you can see. Oof, nice piece of bacon on top of there as well. Oh, you have some nice shoestring fries here, nicely thin cut, and they give you some garlic mayo to dip it right into. Beautiful. Mm. The salad is arranged beautifully, as you can see right here, as I was talking about uh, the goat cheese deep fried right in here. So good. One of my favorite places in Cabbage Town to grab a nice butter tart is Epicure Shop. It's also like a bakery, a deli, a coffee shop. It's kind of like your one-stop shop. It's kind of like if you're from the States, it's like a bodega. It's like your one-stop shop for everything you kind of need for that day to consume. So you got your coffee, you got your foods, your deli meats, and a beautiful butter tart. Mm. Oh, it's so buttery, creamy, delicious, flaky on the outside. It's a perfect Canadian treat. Really, it's probably one of the most Canadian things you can eat is a butter tart. Mm. Offer a sneaky drink at the favorite local dive in Cabbage Town, Alice's Place. Every neighborhood needs a dive, and this one is my go-to house transformed into a small bar, you'll feel right at home when you step in because it is in fact a home. I actually love places like this, like little dives and holes in the wall. This is one of the spots that I love to go in Cabbage Town. And if you want a quick beer, this might be the perfect spot for you to go in Cabbage Town. It's affordable, it's low key, and I enjoy it. There are plenty of other great bars and restaurants to choo choo choose from if you're in Cabbage Town. But I couldn't say no to ending my night at Choo Choo's Diner. All aboard the gravy train. Next stop, all day breakfast. I ordered sausage and eggs, all day breakfast, the classic. After a night out with friends drinking, sometimes just seeing a bright neon sign that says all day breakfast open kind of sucks you in. I'm a sucker for all day breakfast and if a place serves greasy eggs, bacon, ham, sausage, in the wee hours of the night, I'm probably gonna go. And Choo Choo's Diner is one of the spots I'll hit up if I'm close or if I'm within the vicinity of Cabbage Town where I'm out. And the name Choo Choo Diner, if you, if you haven't guessed what it's, the name is for, it's not for chewing of food, it's actually the Choo Choo of a Choo Choo train or a subway train. Uh, the whole decor of the place in the diner is 
inspired by trains, uh, and they only have one beer on tap. And if you're from Toronto, you might be able to guess which beer that is. Beer and all-day breakfast. I feel like I'm on vacation right now. This is this shouldn't be happening. Wow, this is uh, this is massive. I can't think of a better way to really end this night. On this tour of Cabbage Town, one of the oldest historic areas in Toronto. What's your favorite local spot in Cabbage Town? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.